Lana Del Rey, the first three tracks from Blue Bannister. My reaction and my review. Right, let's cut straight to the chase. These three songs are simply magnificent and they show an artist who's at the very top of her game. Del Rey seems to be mining an endless seam of creativity. She always gives me the impression she probably writes half a dozen classic songs before breakfast each morning. Two months after hitting us with a stone-cold classic album, Chemtrails Over the Country Club. She's dropping songs from her next album, Blue Bannisters, to be released, I think it's around the 4th of July. And if they are an indication of what's to follow, it's going to be another brilliant album. On April the 28th, she posted this message on Instagram. Sometimes life makes you change, just in time for the next chapter. And on Twitter, I'm writing my own story, and no one can tell it but me. Lana, in her songs for me, has always created these mini-movies, rich in colour, texture and detail. Whether they are autobiographical or fiction or a mixture of both, I don't know. The first song, Blue Bannisters, is an epic, towering ballad about finding love, trying to find love, and a partner who wants you for who you are, not for what they want you to be. Most men don't want a woman with a legacy at our age. She said you can't be amused and happy too. You can't blacken the pages with Russian poetry and be happy. And that scared me, because I met a man who said he'd come back every May just to help me if I'd paint my banisters blue. Blue banisters. He said he'd fix my weather vane, give me children, take away my pain, and paint my banisters blue. If only she'd paint those banisters blue. Conformity. And he leaves a hole in her heart. Now when the weather turns to May, all my sisters come to paint my banisters green, my blue banisters grey. All this is set to a drifting, evocative, ambient background of synth washes and minimal piano that Brian Eno would be proud of. But it's Del Rey's wonderful gift for melody and those masterful touches of light and shade that make this song into something magical. Lana even drops in a reference to her friend Joan Baez with the line, the diamonds, the rust and the rain. Joan's diamonds and rust being a track they performed live together. Wildflower, wildfire. Echoes of white dress here on this stripped down piano led ballad. Echoes, yes, but wildflower, wildfire is a completely separate entity. They say this song is about Lana's relationship with her mother, Patricia Grant. Here's the deal, because I know you want to talk about it. Here's the deal, you say there's gaps to fill in, so here, here's the deal. My father never stepped in when his wife would rage at me, so I ended up awkward but sweet. Later then hospitals, and still on my feet. Comfortably numb, but with lithium came poetry. Comfortably Numb and Lithium are Pink Floyd and Kurt Cobain references, both of whom Lana has cited as influences in the past. She also tells us how she's been living on willpower and running on star drip IVs for so long. Vocally though, it's just an incredible performance from start to finish. Lana uses her voice like an instrument, by turns powerful, then soft, soaring, drifting, dipping, swirling. And I'll tell you now from the heart, in my 60 odd years of listening to music, to popular music, it's one of the greatest vocal performances I've ever heard. Textbook continues to explore Lana's relationships with her parents. I guess you could call it textbook. I was looking for the father I wanted back and I thought I'd found it in Brentwood. It seemed only appropriate that you'd easily have my back. Other men I met felt right. 
would smile at you and stick a knife in your back. Finally I met you, so I'm not wondering why. Textbook is another track that abounds with beautiful harmonies and melodies. And listening to the soundscapes on these three tracks, especially this one, it seems Lana has been listening a lot to Wise Blood and Beth Gibbons, Out of Season. Looking on the internet today, I see there's been a lot of comments made about the pictures that have accompanied these three tracks. People are saying it all looks cheap, it all looks homemade and stuff like that. I have a feeling that's the image Lana wants to put across. For what reason? I don't know yet. And not many people have commented on the level of bruising, the different levels of bruising that each picture portrays. I don't know what that's about, whether she's making a statement about domestic abuse. Who knows? I'm sure it'll all come clear in the future. But in the meantime, we have these three brilliant tracks. And I urge you, if you haven't heard them, please go and listen to them. There'll be links to all three tracks in the description below. Take care. God bless. Stay safe.